Hey, this is Bryce, and thanks for tuning into my YouTube channel, Jack of Trades. In this video, I am going to do a quick little build of this Nixie Tube uh, 12 hour clock. Um, this is a, uh, I know it's a little different than what I usually do, um, but that's why this channel is called Jack of Trades, because it covers everything, and it covers everything that I'm kind of interested in, including electronics. Um, so this is a kit that I picked up uh, from out of it's out of the Ukraine. It uses real Nixie tubes. Uh, if you don't know what a Nixie tube is, it's kind of like a little neon tube, um, but it's used for displaying uh, digital information such as um, numbers or words, depending on the, the design of the Nixie tube. There's basically a wire mesh in there that acts as a cathode. It's basically a cold cathode display um, used for displaying information. Um, using glow discharge um, and it's it's filled with gases including neon possibly mercury uh, and or argon um, so it works very similar to a neon tube um, Nixie tube the technology for Nixie tubes were first developed in the 50s um, I think they, they were manufacturing them all the way through the 90s I believe these Nixie tubes are new old stock out of Ukraine it actually has a clock circuit and then it runs off of our Arduino Nano which has kind of the logic behind it as far as setting time um, you can change how, how the, the as it as each minute advances the, there's different patterns you can do with the numbers um, and then there's this kind of flashing second dot in the middle it's hard to see with the lighting um, and I know I think on the on the camera it probably looks like the numbers are flickering I think that just has to do with the refresh rate of the camera versus the refresh rate of the Nixie tube. I don't believe it's continuously lit. So I'll go ahead and flip the camera around and we'll show the build process for this kit. Uh, it took a little longer than expected because I ran into some problems. I made some mistakes of my own. Um, and I had to undo those mistakes and kind of fix some stuff that I screwed up. But in the end, it came together fine. Um, I don't know. I just. This, this kind of old technology reinvented is kind of cool to me. Um, I think that's part of my <laughs> midlife crisis of vintage stuff. Uh, <laughs> so here's something you know from my childhood as far as the technology goes. And actually by then it was still on the tail end but um, in school I, I was exposed to it a lot just with older kind of electronics and messing around in the labs uh, with stuff like this um, but um, so yeah <laughs> I'll, I'll go ahead and kick over the video and hopefully you enjoy it thank you for tuning in take care all right so we're going to assemble this uh, uh, it's a 12 hour uh, Nixie tube uh, clock All right, so we're watching a video for assembly, so I'm going to follow along.
decided to take a break because I was getting frustrated. Um, I have some issues with this uh, board. Um, so I originally put this board upside down and then so I had flipped it over and in the process of doing that we tore off some of the traces on the board as well as the pass-throughs on the, um, the solder joints. So I need to fix some of those traces as well as um, try to get solder to the back side of these joints because we don't have those pass-throughs anymore. Um, so I'm gonna hold off on that and work on the box portion of this clock. That's how it should go together, which looks fine. Um, so on the back you've got your power in and some buttons. So I've already plugged this in, it kind of works, but with those missing traces and stuff, I think there's some problems that I need to fix. So now I need to fix the board. First thing I'm gonna do is take this guy off and try to get some solder on the backside. So this is a solder sucker soldering iron. Um, has a little vacuum pump built into it. The tip heats up the solder. And then there's a core, or a, um, there's a hollow core that it sucks the solder through. Okay, <laughs> that part's done now to repair the traces on the this board here. So usually what I use to repair traces is just um, like resistor wire or the wire, the leads on a resistor. Okay, so there, five traces repaired. Now we can uh, get a power lead back on it. so you can see it. Turn off those back lights. There we go. <laughs> Pretty cool, right? So that concludes this little project. Um, you know, I wanted a Nixie tube clock and the kit was fine. I'm happy that I have the clock and it's working. Uh, it was mostly enjoyable, but there were parts that were very frustrating. I had to walk away from it to kind of just take a break and come back to it. So, would I do it again? Yes, I think I would. Having built one now, I would build another one, um, knowing what to watch out for. Um, but I think the instructions could be improved upon. Thank you for tuning in. Hopefully this video was useful or enjoyable to you. Um, Go ahead and comment below if it was or wasn't. Uh, I'll, I'll take any kind of criticism or, or feedback or tips. Um, thanks for tuning in. Take care. Bye.